day. This is Brad Kader, PhD. And sometimes you wonder why in the world did he use the name Brad Kader, PhD? Well, it's very simple. When I was in a communication with a individual that used to be in my Sunday school and now pastor over a group of 30,000 plus people or more, the challenge came when we were sharing emails that, or he did mention that he signed off as Joshua. And I automatically said, well, I prefer to be Kayla. And automatically there was a discussion. Why would I like to be Kayla? You see, Kayla was one of those people working with Moses. Now, Joshua was another individual that worked for Joseph, he became his servant, and then later on he became the leader from the pack. And when I say the pack, those were the Jewish people that were led out of Egypt. Now we all know the tremendous story of Moses standing there and separating the waters and saying, let my people go. But very few people know that there were only two adults. And those two adults were Joshua and Caleb. Joshua became the new leader, and Caleb, who was Caleb? Caleb was the second adult that survived the 40 years trek through the desert. You see, when people know something and they are educated about a subject, it becomes interesting what they do with it. When the people from Egypt were prepared to leave Egypt, they all had a problem. It was their stinking thinking. Yes, folks, it's not a term that you hear very often anymore, but our thinking kind of determines where we are going. We all make a decision. It's almost like the dodo birds. Five of those dodo birds were sitting on the fence complaining about the weather. Now, you know, a dodo bird has beautiful wings and a big beak looks fantastic and as they are complaining they don't sound so nice and so the complaint was well it's getting cold see those dodo birds were in canada sitting on a fence just about on the snow border so if you are sitting on a fence and it's getting cold and the snow is falling like right now in canada there is the first snowfall major snowfall coming down and this is the beginning of november of 2012 already isn't it 2021 sorry folks isn't it amazing that those dodo birds were complaining it was cold okay one said you know what i think that i will be flying to the south i'm going to florida that is awesome i'm going with you and so out of the five three of them were determining i determined to go and fly to Florida, where it was going to be nice and warm and very pleasant for everyone. Now, my question to you is, and this is not Sudoka, but my question to you is, how many dodo birds were there the next morning sitting on the fence? Do you know the answer? Now, most likely deep down in your heart, you know the answer. Were there two dodo birds, like we have five and three of them decided to fly down to Florida? Or were there three or four or five? Now to make it simple, for those that are watching, you might not know the answer, but five dodo birds were sitting the next morning again on the fence. You know why? Because they decided to go. They didn't go, they wanted to go. But they didn't do anything because most people are like that. They always have something in mind. They want to do it. They're going to do it, but they never do because you need to put action where your decision is. And the same with this tremendous program. I don't know and I don't recall if you've seen this, but the reason why I started looking for an avenue to help in the internet basis is very simple. On April the 11th, I got a phone call from my daughter, five o'clock in the morning. Now I was in Holland, my daughter was, and my son, they live in Canada. 
I wrote a book about the whole scenario, so I just want to stick to the points for the moment. Why was I in the Netherlands? Read the book. It's available on Amazon. The question is not, why do I live in Canada, in Holland, and my daughter, the kids are in Canada. The question is, why did she call me? She called me to tell me that Lionel was very weak, had been falling a couple of times, and she had connected him with a nurse in the hospital who said immediately, my son was picked up by an ambulance, rushed into the hospital and died. Three minutes, he was dead. He's only 38 years of age. Three minutes passed. He died. And then that resuscitated. That is the story I heard. Then when he was flown the same or the move from uh, so he went in early in the morning and at night he went to Mount Sinai Hospital ICU in Toronto, Ontario. Now, for some of you that don't know Mount Sinai, it's one of the best hospitals. Right away, the doctors contacted me, they set up Zoom calls, and we've had many Zoom calls. But when we had one meeting with the doctors, all doctors involved in the treatment of my son, they acknowledged that during the intubation, in order, in other words, a difficult word for trying to hook him up on the proper equipment, they had a hard time. When my son was gagging and basically died, it took him more than 15 minutes on very low oxygen to hook him up. And during that time, they put him in coma. Yes, folks, that was April. When I make this here, it is now the middle of November 2021. You know what that means? This is eight months. Young men confronted with a bug that so many people say, I don't believe in that. But if you get hit by the bug and you end up in coma, what would you do? I determine as a father, I'm still 40 years of age and I've got 31 years of experience. And some of you folks say, yeah, but that doesn't count. No, I am 71 folks. And yes, by the grace of God, we have all our faculties and we're healthy. So I promised my daughter that I would finish what my son started. He was working on setting up an internet business. And for some reason, both of us have been trying and working and working on it and paid a lot of money and all kinds of different programs, but it did not work out. It did not work out for him. It didn't go smooth. And so I kept on looking and looking and looking and looking. And finally, I found this program, an autopilot. Academy and Wealth Autopilot Academy. What does that mean? See, things are changing. We can say, well, I have a problem with that. Well, let me share a little bit with you. I started off in university. Of course not. I started at a kindergarten and I went to school the basic school and in college and then university degrees and then other kinds of stuff. Now, first of all, the kindergarten was not a problem. When I went to class number one, I had a problem because my dad came and picked me up and I was very unusual. And I knew something was not right. I was not even seven years of age. My mom had died. My father told me I had no clue. She was not coming, going to come home. I did not know what it meant for me, but the impact it had on my brothers and sisters was we all ended up in an orphanage. So I was not yet, I was six years of age and seven years later, my father remarried because he had five kids at the age of 28. And that was a hard challenge for him to find a wife or a woman I wanted to share his life and his children with him to raise them. So my father remarried. The only problem was that during that time of seven years in that orphanage, I did not fit a family anymore. And so when I came home, quote unquote, I did not know how to behave. And so two years later, I was kicked out of the house. And that happens to be in December, December 31st, to be precise. It was snowing, it was cold. 
they caught me as I was trying to climb in my room and my room was on the second, actually third floor. And if you know that going from one second and the third floor, there are pipe, drain pipes. And so I was climbing along the drain pipes, dangerous of course, but I was young and didn't matter to me. And I climbed up and they saw me. They locked the door, they locked the windows, and I could sleep outside. Sleeping outside on a piece of carton as it is snowing is pretty darn cold. And it doesn't matter which country you're in, it is cold, folks, and it's snowing. And so from the street, so many years later, I ended up on Wall Street, where I learned an awful lot. Yes, folks, I learned the secret to success. And a lot of people are gatherers. They are working on Wall Street. They determine how much money everyone will make and blah, 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 blah. But the reality is that's not how it works. Everything is changing. We are now in 2021. The pandemic has proven that change has occurred because all over the world we're having the same problem. Now, I can go into very deep, specific reasons why, but I like to keep it simple. And one of the simple things is actually that I wrote a book about it. It's an editorial review, Deception Protocol, The Prodigal Son. Did Trump kill the American dream? And you can find out because this book is available on Amazon. See, this is dedicated to all the people that are overcomers. I didn't know when you pay the price. It was also my family that paid the price. See, your kids, your wife, your family members, they all are affected by your decision. And you can say, well, you know, it's not what I mean. Yeah, it's not what you mean. Remember the dodo birds? They meant to fly to Florida. But the next day they were still sitting on that fence and none of them had moved. So it is to air is human, but the edit is divine. Are you willing to edit your life, to change your life? See, when I make a report, I want it to be complete and I want it to be accurate, but it's not always possible. So there may be sometimes mistakes in typesetting or as you're correcting it in the content. Also, the story contains statistics as a guide, not as an ultimate source of spiritual knowledge. So what I say, that doesn't mean it's the law, but it's something to make you think, to become aware that you can change. You are looking at grown-up issues from an other perspective, and it's created by Br'er Kayla, PhD, and it stands simple for, I am a post hole digger. I became a person that started to dig in the good old stuff to find out, is this true? What happens? Why are we changing as a society? And what is going on? And so we are getting more or less tough times, but tough people do. See, tough times never last, but tough people do. And so I de dedicated this to people that are God fearers and are overcomers. They break those shackles of a heavy burden. They make exceptionally good decisions and they will notice the difference. You see, why can we change? Just for clarity and understanding, why should we change? To change the world and start a new society again? Or do we change for me and my house? We shall serve the Lord. You see, it is you and me. You can say, I want to change the whole world. That's awesome. But how about changing yourself first? Why not change your wealth dependence and make it becoming an independent, wealthy individual? What is changed right now in society is that the way we work, the way we live, the way they share and spread the wealth. Right now, with your computer, even with your cell phone, and just with a simple microphone like I have here, 
you can determine a change in your life. You can make a living, more than a living. If you can make $500 a week, or $700 a week, would that make, make a change in your life? See, some of the people say, well, $750 a week, I would rather have 1000 or $1,250 a week. But how about if that is not only a week, but you can do that per day? Would that change your life? Now, sometimes we expect people, expect people to want something from us. But in this case, we are sharing with you and sharing with you freely through a Wealth Autopilot Academy. But you have to do something. You have to have an open mind and you have to click, yes, I want to see that. Remember, it is free. It does not cost you anything, but I want you to have an open mind. Don't be a dodo bird. Oh, I wish to go. No, folks, let's do something about it. Tough times never last, but tough people do. So if you want to do this today for yourself and for me, do me a favor. Press that button there and say, yes, I want to know more. You get registered for the Wealth Academy free. I guarantee you, it's free. No money, no credit cards, nothing. It is free. But with the knowledge you obtain, you will have to make a decision. Are you going to change your lifestyle and become financially independent? And maybe 500 bucks is all you need per week, per day. I don't know. Whatever it is that you need, we can work with you to help you and show you how you can become financially independent. Now, this is something that you can read in various magazines. We advertise through this website. My website is Brerkeda PhD. And as you know by now, my PhD stands for Post Hole Digger. We keep on working till we have the truth. So please stick with me. Let's do this together. And then when we have more knowledge and understanding and experience, now we can become friends because you know that what we shared with you is true you benefit from it you can benefit now the question that i have today is are you familiar with a pod p-o-d see when you move you can call for a crate you can call for a container or you can call for a pod so that is a moving unit like a storage unit and those are movable so Back in the days when I believed in the legal Canadian court system that was based on truth and honesty, I read many cases, one versus the crown or whatever name was filled in. And they told me as a kid so much goobly goop that I believed it. And I noticed there are three areas that I was affected in. And I call that in my book PMS. P stands for politics, M stands for money, and S stands for spirituality. PMS, folks. It is something that women are familiar with in a negative form sometimes, but I stand have it stand for politics, money, and spirituality. I've also discovered it can become something else. You have been subconsciously trained in those three areas. Now, our subconscious mind quite often determines whether we are the dodo birds that take action or stay sitting on the fence. Let's find out which dodo bird you are. If I may compare it to a dodo bird, I'd like to see you very soon and let me know that you want to see at least the first chapter of that lesson how to become independently wealthy through the new system available to everyone, just about everyone. If you have a cell phone, you can do this. God bless you. 
And remember, tough times never last. The tough people, they do. Bye for now.